Hi everyone, so I'm sure everybody is disappointed. India could not win the World Cup Final 2023. There were a lot of expectations. The Indian bowling attack was firing on all cylinders right through this competition. The batting was doing very well consistently. Virat Kohli scoring runs, Rahul scoring runs and Rohit Sharma is giving the Indian team great starts uh, in the power plays. But uh, ultimately, in the final uh, hurdle, India just could not make it. Australia planned brilliantly in this uh, final. Pat Cummins won the toss and batted. Uh, uh, rather fielded that Cummins won the toss and fielded and everyone was criticizing the Australian decision they thought the batting first was the way to go because with the finals uh, there is target pressure and the second half the Australian batting which has not very, looked very strong in the first particular the middle order they could struggle but then Pat Cummins had his ideas Pat Cummins had his plans Australia really had great plans they their uh, justification was there is evening dew at Ahmedabad, heavy dew and in the afternoon with the dry pitch, the pitch looking very dry and sun beating down, ball will grip and the spinners will get help and exactly that happened. Uh, it was quite difficult to bat uh, in the uh, afternoon session. Uh, well, India started very well and actually Rohit Sharma was uh, uh, hitting the ball to all parts of the ground, he was scoring some glorious shots, making some, hitting some glorious shots and scored a quick 47 or 31 balls. Uh, although uh, India lost Gill early for four, Rohit Sharma really batting well and then came that uh, fateful Grain Maxwell over 6-1-4 uh, one, one, and then again a third shot he went uh, to hit which uh, uh, took off the edge and uh, was uh, caught brilliant by, uh, brilliantly by Travis Head in the covers. Brilliant uh, catch, Rohit Sharma was out and from there Australia started to claw their way back in the match. Though Virat Kohli came in, he, was, uh, he also hit some fours at the start and he looked good. Uh, but Shreyas had uh, got out very quickly to Pat Cummins and that was a big blow to India also. On Shreyas had got out, Virat and K. Rahul had to uh, stay there uh, and bat long because India doesn't have a very uh, long batting depth. So they had to bat long so you cannot uh, fault them for that because they had to really bat for at least 30 overs without any loss of wicket which they did. Uh, Kohli played well, 51 but then again Pat Cummins came in and uh, uh, Kohli chopped onto his stumps. That was a very crucial wicket. 52 runs. Kohli got out for 64 balls. It was a good knock, uh, keeping the innings in shape. But after that, K. Rahul, uh, after batting so uh, batting for such a long time, he, towards the 35-40 over mark, he did not get the, uh, could not take the game on. Uh, he got 66 for 107 balls. Well, Australia uh, changed a lot of uh, bowling, uh, they made a lot of bowling changes and they bowled Travis Head for two overs for four runs, uh, Mitchell Marsh for two overs for five runs. So that's four overs for nine runs of the fifth and sixth bowler, sixth and seventh bowler. Uh, it really proved to be a costly one for India. They could have got another 30 runs of those four overs and that would have made a lot of difference to the total. But that didn't happen. Uh, Surya Kumar Yadav could not play well, 18 runs, the lower order just fell apart, Jadeja got out for nine and India got all out for 240 in just 50 overs so disappointing with the uh, Australian quicks all of them getting wickets targeting three again doing well in a final and then there was Hazelwood and uh, Cummins getting two wickets sees and got one wicket was economical and overall Australia bowled really well and fielded absolutely uh, uh, brilliantly they were absolutely tiger on the prole on the field they were stopping boundaries a lot of boundaries were stopped brilliant uh, uh, effort by Australia and then However, 240 was a, not a very safe score, but Indian bowlers were very good because second half the ball swings, so Indians were happy, the, uh, the Indians were hopeful, the fans were very hopeful that India will get early breakthroughs and sure enough they did get. David Warner got out for 7, Mitchell Marsh got out for 15 after hitting on 6 uh, and 4, uh, got behind uh, of Shami and then Bumrah got the very crucial wicket of Steve Smith, LBW. Steve Smith didn't review that, the ball was, in, impact was outside the line. Lucky wicket for India, 3 down for 47 and it looked really, really dangerous situation for Australia and as, at that stage it looked that batting second was definitely a wrong decision. But in came Manas Labushan, batted solidly, Travis Head also after uh, initially attacking, he also with wickets falling, uh, falling left, right and centre, he also started to block the bowling and they started to calm themselves down. Manas was very solid in defence against all the bowlers. Travis said whenever he got a loose ball, he went for the shots. But both of them batted very sensibly and uh, gradually uh, the score went past the 100. And once it went past the 100, Travis said whenever he got a loose ball, he went for the big shots. He went full-blooded, 4-6s, 15-4s. What a brilliant innings he played. 
137 or 120 balls before he got out with just two runs required. Manas Labushan uh, still there, stayed there in the still the end. 110 balls, 58 not out. Drill Maxwell two not out. Australia winning by six runs, uh, six wickets with seven over six overs or seven overs to spare. 42 balls to spare. Australia won by six wickets. Brilliant uh, batting by Head and Manas. 192 run partnership. That was it. Australia getting their sixth World Cup title in addition to their 1-T-20 uh, title and the World uh, Championship uh, final win which they had it only this year. World Test Championship final win, ODI World Cup win and a uh, retaining of the Ashes Series 2 also. All of that happened this year, a brilliant year for Australian cricket as Pat Cummins later put it. So great win for Australia. India, I think uh, they really needed to show more uh, intent towards the back end of their innings but uh, there was not enough wickets also but K. Rahul could have definitely uh, uh, up the ante uh, uh, but Surya Kumar Yadav also could not quite get going uh, so that was really uh, disappointing from India. Bowlers also after getting the initial breaks they could not break through much. Uh, very good batting by head and manners when the wicket got easier to bat towards the second half evening uh, after a side bit of due. So Australia winning it, brilliant win, congratulations to Australia. Uh, I feel uh, they really uh, deserve to win the way they played the, to knock out semi-finals and finals. In fact, South Africa gave a more of a fight to Australia in the semi-finals uh, against a lower uh, score defender of 213. Australia won by only three wickets, but India uh, just could not uh, go that close. So the final ended in Australia's way. So that's how it is. World Cup to Australia. So before signing off, I'll just uh, declare my... Uh, World Cup team here, uh, the way I made it, uh, I think it, it should be Quinton de Kock, four centuries, Quinton de Kock and Rohit Sharma are the two openers, Rohit Sharma is the captain, then comes Rachin Ram, Ravindra, one of the best young players, and then Virat Kohli at number three, uh, at number four, and uh, Daryl Mitchell at number five, and then comes Glenn Maxwell at six, <coughs> Ravindra Jadeja at seven, Marco Jansen at eight, and then uh, comes Adam Zampa at nine, the best spinner, 20, uh, 23 wickets in this World Cup, and then comes uh, Mahmoud Shami, 24 wickets in this World Cup, and just with Bumrah, 20 wickets in this World Cup. So that's how uh, my 11, my best 11 is for the uh, for this uh, World Cup. Uh, missed out a few players like Madhu who uh, bowled very well for uh, uh, Sri Lanka. Gerald Kotze was really very impressive also for South Africa. So overall, this is how the <coughs> World Cup ended. It has ended. Australia are the champions six times now. And India has to again wait for another World Cup uh, to come. So that's all for now. Bye.